John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today I'm taking a test drive on the Allen, Allen Eden 1987 FR, as in Floyd Rose. This is a, gu a guitar that kind of harkens back to the glory days of the Sunset Strip and spandex and big hair. And uh, let me tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording this. Basically, I'm running the Allen Eden directly into a Fender Supersonic amp in the dirty channel right now that's basically flat. It'll be in the clean channel and that'll be flat as well. We're miking with a Royer R121 mic going into an FG Quartet and Pro Tools. So basically, plugging the guitar straight into an amp and blowing and going. Allen Eden began as a guitar parts manufacturer and making bodies, necks, and stuff like that for do it yourself enthusiasts. Then they decided why not make our own guitars, and that is what they're doing right here. And this is you know, the 1987, clearly harkens or, or is a reference to, to the year 1987 where the Sunset Strip was taking out all, bringing out all these shredders with, you know, futuristic rock guitars like this with Floyd Rose and humbucker strap bodies, strat ish bodies with humbuckers and Floyd Rose um, and minimal, you know, minimal controls. That's what they did here, and it's very cool, and it's got a cool aesthetic. The you know the backwards headstock and the diamond uh, inlays. So the basic ingredients are this: starts with a twenty-five point five scale. The body is this burled maple, and you can see it's just really beautiful. I mean, the wood is just really pretty, and it you know it feels good on your hands. I don't know, feels like you're rubbing a tree or something. <laughs> Anyway, feels good. Um, it's right with their two proprietary humbuckers, and you can see it's, they're going straight into the body, which is pretty cool. The, uh, the five-ply neck, which has uh, strips of walnut going down it, goes right into the body, right through the body, which is cool. That's an expensive thing to do, but they managed to do it on this guitar at an inexpensive price point. It has a volute... If you can see that up there, uh, a volute kind of like Gibson did in the 70s. I guess it's uh, for Gibsons that kept the necks from breaking, so that probably makes a little more stability right there. And I love the uh, you know the matching headstock with the body. So uh, those are the basics. Why don't I just quit yakking and play a little bit? But before I do play, I'll, I will say this: um, whenever I review gear, I just take it out of the box and play it um, because I feel that you, the consumer, that's what it's going to be for you. That's what your purchasing experience is. You're just going to take it off the wall to guitar store or whatever, take it out of the box and uh, when you buy it. And this guitar came out of the box with, um, with not a great setup. You know, the neck feels a little rough and, and the, um, the Floyd Rose, Floyd Roses will stay in tune perfectly when they're adjusted right. But this did not come, you know, with that tweak. So it's a little bit of a challenge uh, because of that. So, um, so that's the one thing that um, Alanine should should look at. It's just their setup. That being said, because they are have been in the business of, of supplying parts, I think they probably expect the 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 buyer to kind of make the guitar their own and and tweak it as they want it. So that's probably it. Anyway, enough of my talking. Let's go through some sounds. Um, I found I like the simple controls. I like just a a tone and a volume. Um, I know that 80s things of just having a volume was very popular thanks to Van Halen, but the tone's cool. Cool to have the, the tone. Um, interesting bit, when you're in the middle, it's very stratty. <laughs> Do 
So it's a good tone. Very cool. Uh, the neck sounds great just, uh, just by itself. <laughs> Get a little dirt on there. And as you probably heard, when you roll down that tone, you really did do that warm kind of, uh, I don't know, like a BTO American woman or, or, um, or woman tone that, that Clapton would get on that 335. But it's a, that's a cool sound. And it becomes kind of, I don't know, violin-like, I guess. So, which leaves us with the bridge. So the bridge really sounds good. Um, to me, it's, it's difficult to make a humbucker in the bridge sound good clean. The, the sweet spot is overdriven. But this does it really well. There's a nice clarity to it. Just... So what I like is that you can roll back the volume, it gets clean, bring it in, it gets dirty, nice sustain. That's a good sounding pickup. So this is a basically, it's an it's affordable, cool 80s rock guitar. And again, really the aesthetics of it are just beautiful. So those are the basics on the Allen Eden 1987. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our ever-growing YouTube channel. It's John Bolger, till next time. <laughs>